As you can see, we are starting off with a new little house. So I got the ant kit house in the end. It did go out of stock for a little while. So what you get, let's open this thing up. You get some cotton wool wool, that's always good. Cotton wool wool. Some tubing. Oh my god, you get a mini pipette. I've had all the pipettes in the world, but I've never had a mini pipette. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> And then you get the little house itself. So I think this one houses up to 50. So it's not going to be their house for ages, unfortunately. But, you know, to be honest, I think, I think that could house more than 50. What I'm going to try to do is connect this to the test tube. Hopefully, they'll move in a lot quicker. But we'll have to wait and see. Okay, so I was doing a little test run because obviously I have some spare test tubes. And um, this tubing that comes with the house, obviously it fits on the house nicely, but when it goes in the test tube, it's like too small. So I think I'm gonna have to attach to the other test tube and like tape around here, maybe put some cotton wool wool. I might need to be a little bit creative, but mm, this could be a little bit tricky. So this is how it's turned out. So obviously there was a gap between the test tube and the other tube so I put some cotton wool ball around those areas to hopefully block it off a bit but then obviously I taped it really really hoping there's no exposed tape that the ants can get stuck to I don't think there is I don't think there's any gaps they can get to where there would be exposed tape because of all the cotton wool ball but um they seem very interested oh my god one of them's gone through the test tube I'll do the connecting tube maybe it'll come out Oh my god, I think it's actually in there, but you can't see it because it's right by the text. Once one goes, they all start following. That's what I really want to happen. It's actually in there. It's in there. Okay, that did not take long. That's good. So what I'm going to quickly do is just add a little bit of water in here. I already have added a little bit already, so I don't want to add too much into that little hole there. there can you see it? I don't know if you could, but... Yeah, okay, well that's looking positive. I'm gonna cover up just over here, not the ventilation, but just over here so it's darker. I'm not gonna go for the heat at the moment just because it's already quite hot in here and I don't wanna kill the ants. So um, I'll be back when some start to move in. So I tried the light and darkness situation so I was exposing the test tube to a load of light and all of that it didn't work I have to say my ants aren't that light sensitive it really doesn't bother them so I have decided to use a heat mat now the heat mat I'm using is very small and it really doesn't let off that much heat so it's just raising the temperature a little bit at first I put it under the water area of the test tube, then I moved it towards the cotton and now I've moved it just underneath them and I hate doing it. I hate having to like get them to move. It's been very gradual, I haven't rushed anything even though in this video it probably seems like I've gone from one to another very quickly. But no, I am doing it very gradually and you can see there's like some humidity build up, there's some water on the sides inside the nest. So I'm hoping this is enough to encourage them to move. I have seen about three workers in the new nest. You can see one just there. Okay, something's gone terribly wrong. So I had the heat map up to about here and they'd all moved this morning. They weren't in the new nest, they weren't in the old nest, so I assume they're in the tube. So I've just gradually moved the heat mat along, hoping that will encourage them to move. And they still haven't, and I've just come upstairs and found one of the ants on the outside of the nest. I don't know how it escaped. I'm really worried that some more have escaped. But I'm going to cut off the tape and see what's going on in that tube. Because I really, really don't want any more to escape. Okay, we're in a bit of a pickle here. So, a load of the pupae have now arrived in here. That's partly my fault because when I was trying to cut it, obviously it tipped. But I think they're going to be totally fine. Um, all the workers and the queen are just in here. Um, I've looked in the test tube and I can't see anything left but I'm going to take out the cotton just to be 100% sure but I'm just hoping that they move in. I really don't know how that one work escaped, that's really worrying. I'm hoping it's not to do with the ant kit, maybe it was this. So I'm going to return it back in there with the rest of them. 
Now, because I've taken the tape off, I think they are starting to find a new place to settle. So if we look over here, I think, I think they're sorting them out. I'm not quite sure whether they are adding to it or taking it back. I really hope they're adding to it because I really want them to move actually out to there. Okay, once again, not gone to plan. They've literally collected all the pupae and moved it into this tube. So, yeah. Okay, so that literally didn't take long at all. Probably like half an hour I left them. I just came back up and they've moved. So what I did is I hovered the tube over the heat map. So it's not directly on, but it's just over. And they've all completely moved. If we move this sheet, this is just to keep it dark. Oh, that's very light. As you can see, they're all settled in. So, oh, there's one on the outside. Oh my goodness. Okay, they're literally escaping out the top of this. So I have this all plugged up where I just took it out to try to... They're literally getting out of here. That is not good. I might need to contact Ant Kit about that. So I've put some tape over that gap for now. Really hope no more escape. Hopefully we've got all the workers. But I'm going to cover them over now because they've had a lot of moving around so I'm going to let them just settle down. Okay, so it's in the evening time and I have upped security a little bit. So to prevent any coming out, in case they do come out, I have put the ants in the white on nest that I got for Christmas. So basically if they do escape, they're only going into the out world because all the other tunnels are blocked up. I kind of figured I could use this as an out world when I need to feed them. But since the colony is still really small, I could probably feed them still in that. But I'm debating because, you know, they could just go out in the out world, but I don't know. Okay, guys, um, we have another escapee. How? How is this possible? 